there is a big focus on speech therapy. Parents almost always participate in homework. The teacher is always right. Children shouldn't contradict with teacher. And by the way, about homework, it is a lot in Russian school. Sometimes teachers uh, swears at the pupil and raise his voice. You will not see high school uh, pupils uh, who came to school by car. Russian parents don't allow you just uh, traveling uh, uh, for the year uh, after secondary school. There is a negative attitude to cheating, but it doesn't work in Russia. Hello friends, this video will be from a series of episodes about Russian features. I will tell you about Russian education, about our attitude and uh, features uh, which connected with uh, Russian education. Let's start from kindergarten. Uh, the system of uh, state preschool education in Russia is very developed. Maybe somebody of you know that uh, Russian women um, have possibility to stay in maternity leave a really long time, um, from three years old, get some uh, support from state. I mean, get uh, some not so big, but still allowance. But at the same time, it is also popular to give child to kindergarten uh, from two years old or earlier. One woman decided that because uh, they just uh, uh, don't want to stay at home so long time or uh, because uh, this allowance not uh, so big and they want to receive the salary uh, like in previous time. All state kindergarten Garden is free and also primary and secondary education in Russia is also free. In Russian community majority thinks that go to kindergarten is good because a child can take um, good mental development, socialization, uh, they are prepared for school, at least they take a good nutrition four times a day. Uh, it's like all inclusive for, for Russian children. And and less face to face. It is really convenient for working parents and for housekeeper as well. It is true that Russian preschool education is the whole system. Uh, there are a lot of uh, details, uh, standard, uh, including uh, sanitary and epidemiological standards, which all kindergarten uh, must strictly follow these rules. It is about nutrition, placement, uh, and the schedule a lot of a lot of uh, standards uh, from for example temperature of food and uh, drinks uh, till uh, uh, square area uh, of playground and uh, how many times uh, it is necessary to ventilate uh, the rooms. This system was created in Soviet time when uh, all population uh, uh, had to work uh, a lot of time and uh, when uh, did not think uh, about uh, how to be a good parents. And I wanted to say uh, two else uh, features connect which connected with uh, preschool time. Majority of Russian parents think uh, that their child uh, must uh, have uh, learned read and uh, count uh, before they go to school. And I think parents just crazy about this big idea, uh, just ignored uh, that fact children uh, will be uh, touch, read and uh, count uh, in uh, primary school. But I think answer to this question hide in my next part of this video. We'll see. And the next feature is uh, there is a big focus on speech therapy. I don't know how it is going in your country, but in Russia there is a speech therapist in each kindergarten, or at least uh, it is assumed that um, it should be in each uh, kindergarten. And state children clinics have a speech therapist. And also there are special standard tests uh, which uh, children um, must have uh, passed 
and um, it is considered that if you have a problem with uh, your speech in a press school you might have a problem in a primary school with your uh, writing and reading and if you have this problem you should uh, extra working with it and also there are special kindergarten with focus uh, on uh, uh, this uh, children which have a problem with speech and maybe you remember that I made a separate video about this uh, uh, hard routine for parents <laughs> Даня, что это за слово? Что ты придумал? So we came to primary and secondary education and interesting fact that uh, in Russia primary and secondary education is compulsory and parents are required by law to provide the opportunity and access to education. In this regard homeschooling has some difficulties with us. And if child uh, is uh, homeschooled, uh, he must uh, pass uh, the special test which uh, show that uh, he uh, follow uh, education standard and it is okay with uh, uh, his education. One of the feature, but I guess uh, Russian teachers don't admit it, Russian parents are responsible that children must understand educational material. And that is why parents almost always participate in homework, especially in primary school when children don't have uh, the skill to be organized themselves uh, and uh, their motivation is low. And by the way, about homework, it is a lot in Russian school. Classes are from 8 or 9 a.m. till uh, 1 or 2 p.m. For primary school there is an extended day group. Again, everything is organized for working parents and of course the extended day group is free. Our Russian teacher tend to have an authoritarian teaching style, rigor and discipline, especially in lower grades. The teacher is always right. Children shouldn't contradict with teacher and expressing your opinion is also not welcome. And recently in mass media uh, there was an accident. In the Krasnodar region, uh, 10 great uh, pupil wrote his opinion in an essay and received a bad mark. And teacher wrote him, nobody asked your opinion, it is a lot of your opinion there. Sometimes teachers uh, swears at the pupil, uh, can raise his voice and uh, unfortunately um, hit the pupil is also um, can happen in, in uh, school. I'm talking about tendency. Of course there are uh, excellent Russian teacher and really good um, government school in Russia where there are more democratic and individualized methods. I don't know how it is going in your country but in Russia there is a less control over where the child is. For example um, pupils uh, can more freely uh, leave uh, the class during the um, study, for example, go to toilet uh, without a special pass card. Also, after school, pupils uh, can go home on his own, even in primary school. And on the one hand, I think it is good because it, it um, help to be more independent uh, for uh, people, for children's but uh, on the other hand, it can be not safe. Driving is permitted from 18 years old and therefore uh, in Russia you will not see high school uh, pupils uh, who came to school by car. And also it is not so common for uh, students uh, by university. Perhaps uh, this is due to the price of car in Russia. After secondary school you should decide it, uh, where you go, uh, to university 
university or college or go to work. And I think it is a difference because uh, uh, Russian parents don't allow you just uh, traveling uh, uh, for the year uh, after secondary school or just uh, uh, thinking uh, what I want to do for a living, you must decide it in uh, your last grade uh, at school. In some countries it is uh, popular uh, after secondary school, uh, go for traveling or just live for yourself and uh, thinking about uh, education some time, some period of time, but it is uh, not, po it is absolutely not possible in uh, Russia. You just consider that uh, you just like uh, have missed uh, a year of your life. As a rule, Russian parents uh, uh, ready to support you uh, and pay for your high education and uh, uh, for your life uh, during you um, study in university, but they don't uh, uh, support you if you just decided uh, nothing to do. Go to university or go to work. Go to university, it is important for many men because it gives uh, uh, them delay from the army. I think it is almost our difference. My friends from other countries uh, said me there is a negative attitude to cheating, but it doesn't work in Russia. I think everybody cheat. Of course, uh, there is some control from the teacher, but everybody cheat. And there are a lot of uh, variety and me of methods uh, how you can cheat. Even a good pupil and student even prepare some uh, hide and not. Uh, you know, there is a method uh, when you prepare some uh, hide and knots uh, just in case. You won't uh, use it, but uh, just in case, it is uh, just give me a calm briefly about the level of uh, system of Russian education. From two to seven years old, you go to kindergarten. From seven years old, you go to primary school. The primary school have four classes and a secondary school from five till 11 classes. At the final grades, uh, the school children take uh, the Unify state exam. According to this result, uh, uh, they can go to university or uh, to college. And you know, uh, the college in Russia, it is a name of institution of uh, secondary specialized uh, education. It is a not higher education. And in Russia there is a possibility to study in university for free if you uh, have a, a maximum number on a unified state exam. Higher education is subdivided to levels as well. On average uh, Russian students study uh, four, five or uh, six years. That's all about Russian education and our uh, features and attitude. So so, as usual, I await your comment under this video and subscribe to my Twitter. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.